this is week one of what to believe navigating the news today. Um, this ran in February and March of this year. You can see our lead learner here was our colleague Tina Bessius from Durham Academy, who has taught journalism for us in the past. Of course, starts out with an overview where she welcomes everybody. The students fill in a little form, say who's here, just to give you a sense. We'll go live results up. So this course was a lot of history and English students and some students from other disciplines. Um, a lot of 11th and 12th graders, but you can see there's some 8th graders here as well. And this one happened to be students mostly from the US, Canada, and Japan. Um, a lot of our other courses have been a bit more diverse in terms of the community. Students said hello to one another here in this flip grid, um, which we keep under a password. And you see that. And then they go into week one. We design the activities relatively flexibly. That's why we call these flex courses, so that they accommodate for different, different school schedules, different teacher expectations, um, different paces at which schools or students might need to work through certain things. There's always some overview materials, some choice in terms of the way people want to engage, lots of curated resources. This is a sort of a media studies uh, course, so obviously the resources accordingly. Um, a discussion, which they could click out to, and this was an asynchronous canvas discussion. And then the guest speaker. This is really the one thing I, I felt strongly I wanted to show you, because it can be difficult to imagine what it is um, to engage with an expert guest speaker uh, asynchronously. So uh, for this course, Vanessa Otero, who um, designed this, this media literacy image that you may have seen floating around social media, uh, and has, has started an organization around media literacy, was the guest speaker. And so Tina, our, our lead learner, interviewed Vanessa. Um, the interview ran at the half an hour or 40 minutes, um, posted the video, and then Vanessa agreed to be available um, via Flipgrid. You can see that. So the students posted video questions asynchronously. You can watch one, and then she Hello, responded. Hello, Vanessa. My question for you is, as someone who is an expert on the airline saying, um, which sides of uh, news article or which side of the news article has, do you still make assumptions about stories you hear or like previous assumptions about stories you hear? That's a great question. Yes. Uh, you know, I, yep, like make assumptions about the things that. I Okay, we certainly need to watch, need, don't need to watch all the video, but that gives you a sense for how asynchronous expert speakers work. Um, I guess since that's one of the eight things in the course. Um, and Vanessa did a great job of responding to that. This student, I'm sure, got an email update when she responded to that. So that you can watch the video and, and feel like you'd had a real touch point with um, that speaker. And then at the end of week one, there's usually a hands on kind of activity. Um, in this case, students use um, Vanessa's. Way for evaluating sources and evaluating some sources of their own or field back results of how biased or not biased the sources are that the students look at. So I don't want to belabor that, but I did want to show an existing upper school flex course and in particular the way the expert speakers part, part works so that you would have a sense for just exactly what it is we're talking about. And in most cases, teachers brought their brought this course into their own program. Um, and had it be a part of their course, whether it was for a part of class time or part of homework um, for the two weeks that it was done. 